Bubba Cunningham, uh, the North Carolina AD, joined the OG on 99.9 The Fan, WRAL in North Carolina, and echoed the sentiments that Florida State and Clemson have been stating, and that is that it's time for the ACC to move to unequal revenue distribution. Uh, He stated equal distribution was very appropriate, particularly when you had eight schools in your league, which the ACC did back in 1991. Uh, He said, as your league expands, the footprint expands, the number of sports that you offer differs, the overall value to the league and its media markets is different, and I think some of us are starting to suggest we need to re-examine that and take a look at where is the value and how do we distribute the money differently so that we can ensure the teams that want to invest the most will be rewarded for that investment. That discussion is just beginning. Now, Cunningham apparently told WRAL in October that he was part of a group that was tasked with studying the unequal revenue issue. Like They were looking into this back in October, and nobody really even talked about it. That, that just goes to show everything gets put on the back burner during football season. Uh, anyway, he continued on. He said, I'm not sure that you're going to satisfy everyone with a differential payout. Uh, in fact, I'm relatively confident you're not going to satisfy anyone because some aren't going to think that they have enough and others feel like they took an unnecessary haircut. Uh, what we're trying to do is raise the level so we can maintain a competitive standard nationally. I don't believe that you have to have as much money as everyone else to be competitive. You're looking at Texas and Ohio State, $200 million budgets. We're not going to be at $200 million, but if we get a few more million or somebody else can, then I think that's going to make a difference in retention of coaches. There's no telling where the NIL is going and what other compensation models might look like as we move forward I think all those ideas will play out in the next couple of years, but you're going to need money to finance the new economic structure of college sports. So he's 100% right. Like, this isn't just about making as much money as the Big Ten and SEC schools so that Clemson can just build, you know, putt-putt courses and water slides, right? Like, we are quickly approaching a day where schools will have to pay football players a salary. We've talked about it on the show a lot. Uh, And if you can only offer $50,000 a year, and your competitor is offering 100000 well, you know where the better players are going to go. Like, it's already looking like that with NIL, et cetera. But as it sits right now, that stuff is funded by boosters for, you know, a few players here and there. Or they give, like, you know, a smaller contracts to, like, an entire position group, et cetera. Like, most school boosters cannot afford payroll every year for an entire football team without getting some kind of return on investment. Like, I, I was not shocked to hear Cunningham saying this, uh, But, I mean, the numbers continue to add up. We now have three ADs openly saying that the ACC model has to change. I would imagine things are going to get a lot louder over the next few months. Just a guess. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and, of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.